Hi guys, today we'll be talking about the hydrostatic tables and finding out information from the hydrostatic tables to solve questions in ship stability. So this is a series of videos I'm making on uh, the topic of ship stability. So if this is the first video you're watching, I'll advise you to watch all the other videos first and watch them in series to develop an understanding of the different concepts that are used or that are involved in the subject of ship stability. I have uh, given you a link to those videos in the description section below and um, if you are watching this video as the first video you may not understand many of these concepts because i'll assume that you have watched all the other videos and uh, understood the concepts all right so in this video we'll sp particularly and specifically talk about hydrostatic tables only and by hydrostatic tables we mean there are tables provided for every vessel or every ship which provide us with all the information necessary to calculate the ship's stability so the uh, particulars provide you with the information of displacement that is w tons per centimeter immersion moment to change stream by one centimeter the distance of the center of buoyancy from the aft perpendicular the distance of the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular the distance between the keel and the center of buoyancy the transverse meter center and the longitudinal meter center for the draft all right and these hydrostatic tables are for the salt water of relative density 1.025 all right so these are the exam this is an example i'll be using to solve the questions uh, i'll be taking up four different kind of questions so let's get started with the questions so the first question here let's call it question number one says that uh, we have to find the hydrostatic particulars of the vessel at a draft of 5.1 meter in seawater the hydrostatic tables as i showed you was for the seawater only but the problem is that if you go back into the hydrostatic tables and look at it uh, the information given is for 5 meters and for 5.2 meters. There is nothing for 5.1 meter. So for 5.1 meter, we have to do some kind of interpolation. So I will show you a couple of different examples and then you can do the same for the rest of the values. Alright, so for example, let's say if I have to find the displacement, that's W, for a draft of 5.1 meter, I will interpolate the values between 5 and 5.2 to get the value for 5.1. Alright, so how do I do that? So for a difference of 0 0.2 meters, which is the difference between 5.2 and 0 and 5 meters, the difference is 0 0.2 meters. So for a difference of 0 0.2 meters between 5.2 and 5, the difference in the displacement is 442. How do I get 442? It's 10333 minus 9891. So displacement for 5.2 meters minus displacement for 5 meters. But I need for 5.1 meters. So I need it for 0 0.1 meter starting from 5 meters all right so for the difference between 5.1 and 5 meters is 0 0.1 meter that's the value i need it for all right the value i have it for is 5.2 minus 5 which is 0 0.2 meters the difference is 442 so how much will it be for a difference of 0 0.1 meter so it's simple interpolation take this here bring this down here because this is the unknown so the ratio that you get is 442 multiplied by 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.2 you get 221 tons all right so this 221 tons is the difference between the displacement between 5 meter and 5.1 meter so if the displacement is 5.1 meter yeah, my apology here this should be 5.1 all right so if the displacement for 5 meters is 9891 you will add another 221 tons to it and when you add 221 tons to it, you get the displacement for 5.1 meter as 10112. Alright, so it's a simple case of interpolation. Many books, they also develop a ratio as well. So that ratio in this case, I'll show you what the ratio means. Alright, so the ratio in this case becomes 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.2 because this becomes a constant that you can use. And then this is the difference between the values. So this is the only thing that change changes. Alright, and this becomes the constant that's what many books do as well so let's take another example let's calculate ab ab is nothing but the distance of the center of the buoyancy from the half perpendicular now in this case if you go back above you will see for 5 meters the ab is 72.014 and for 5.2 meters is 72.011 this shows that the ab is reducing from 5 going to 5.2 so for a draft of 5.1 meters the AB will be less than what it is at 5 meters. 
all right so we do the same thing again to calculate a b the difference between 5.2 and 5 meter is 0 0.2 meters we know the difference between the a b values is 72.014 minus 72.011 that gives us 0 0.03 0 0.03 but we need for 0 0.1 meter which is the difference between 5.1 meter minus 5 meters that's the value we needed for because we want to calculate it for a draft of 5.1 meter so again simple interpolation this goes here this comes here this gives you that constant ratio this is the constant that you can use for every value and this is the difference of the values all right so that gives you 0 0.0015 but remember that it was reducing in this case from going from 5 meters to 5.2 meters draft right so the correction that you obtain here you will subtract from a draft of 5 meters again I have written 5.2 here it should be 5.1 meters so as you go around from 5 meters to 5.1 meters because the AB value is reducing from 5 to 5.2 it will also reduce from 5 to 5.1 so you will subtract the correction and that's the AB value for 5.1 meter draft. All right. So in such case, where you just have to find it for a draft which is in the middle of two drafts, you just do a simple case of interpolation. All right. So I have shown you uh, a couple of them, and you do the same for the rest of the values as well. Let's go into question number two now. And question number two is slightly different from question number one. Here you have to find the hydrostatic particulars. At a displacement of 11762 tons in seawater. All right. Now let's go back to the hydrostatic tables here. So if you look at the hydrostatic tables here, they are the values here are given for drafts. The values here are given for drafts, which you see as the vertical column here. It's not given for displacement, but you need to find it for a displacement of 117762. 11762 will lie somewhere here between 11672 and 12122 right so these are the two ranges you have to take into account similarly it will be between the draft of 5.8 and 6 meters right so i'll erase all this so that you guys don't get confused by too much of it that's going on so that's where 11762 will lie so if i go back to the table then i recreate this this row these couple of rows here and i recreate it you can see that this pretty much looks like this so I'm taking one example and then you can use the same concept for calculating other values. All right. So let's start here. This is the solution. So for 5.8 meters, your displacement that was given was 11672. And for 6 meters, it was 12122. But you have to find it for 11762 tons of displacement. Everything is happening in seawater, so you don't have to worry about anything else, which lies between these two displacements. Right. So for a difference of 11450 one, tons, which is the difference between 12122 minus 11672, the difference of the draft is 0 0.2 meters. This is 6 minus 5.8 meters. So for a difference of 90 tons, which is the difference between the required displacement minus the displacement at 5.8 meters, 11672, what will be the draft? So again, it's a matter of interpolation take this here multiply this here this gives you the ratio again all right so in this case here 0 0.2 so it will be 90 minus 90 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 450 tons as you can see from above which it gives you a draft correction of 0 0.04 now going from 11627 11672 to 11762 the draft is going to increase so we will add this correction all right so because going from 11672 to 11762 which is the required displacement as you add 90 tons you will add the draft correction as well and this is the draft for which you will find out the rest of the values alternatively you can do the same for the tpc now so again 90 by 450 here becomes a constant that you can use 0 0.2 is the only value the difference between values that will keep changing all right that will keep changing all right so 
again if I have to find it for a displacement of 11762 which lies between 11672 and 121122 and I have to find the TPC now the TPC is 22.37 and 22.45 for the two displacement values so the constant again becomes 90 by 450 the thing that will change will be the difference in the TPC values this is 22.45 minus 22.37 gives me 0 0.08 so if I multiply the two I get a correction of 0 0.016 all I have to say is is my TBC increasing with increasing displacement yes it is so when my displacement increases from 11672 by adding 90 tons to 11762 my TPC will also increase by applying this correction here to the TPC at 11672 and this will be the new TPC at 11762 Alright, and then you can do the rest. You can do the same for the rest of the questions. Let's take a third example now, and this is a slightly different example here because here the relative density of the water changes. So remember, all the hydro hydrostatic particulars in this case are given for a relative density of seawater, which is 1.025. But in this case, uh, this relative density is now changing in the third question. So then the third question. You have to find the displacement when floating at a draft of 6.4 meters in dock water of relative density 1.015. So we can't go into the hydrostatic particulars and straight away use the displacement because that displacement is for seawater only. But let's see how we can use that. So if we go into the hydrostatic tables for 6.4 meters. So for 6.4 meters you have the displacement as 103030. All right so if i can use this information here how can i use it to find the displacement when the vessel is floating at a draft of 6.4 meters but in dock water not in seawater all right so hydrostatic tables is for seawater but the underwater volume of a ship for a given draft is always constant all right so the volume of the ship under the water is always constant it's only the density that keeps changing and because of the density the drafts keeps changing so let's say because and as previously we have learned displacement equals underwater volume multiplied by density so underwater volume will be equal to displacement divided by density if i keep density here now in this case the dense displacement is 13030 at 6.4 meter draft in seawater and this is my seawater density 1.025 so therefore my underwater volume becomes 12712.2 meters cube volume is always in meter cube now because the underwater volume remains the same for a given draft in any water of density if i have to find the displacement in dock water of 1.015 relative density all i have to do is displacement equals underwater volume which remains constant for a given draft multiplied by the new density of the dock water which then gives me the displacement at the dock water density all right the fourth question is this time you have to find the draft in the dock water of relative density 1.010 at a displacement of 10650 tons again you use the similar concept here again displacement equals underwater volume by density displacement is given to you the density is given to you you don't know the underwater volume so unknowns keep on one side and once go on the other the underwater volume then becomes equal to displacement divided by density which is 10650 divided by 1.010 now this is the case if the vessel was in dock water of relative density 1.010 but if the vessel was in sea water of relative density 1.025 the displacement in sea water would be 10650 by 1.010 which is the underwater volume which remains the same for a given draft in water of any density multiplied by density in sea water which is equal to 10808.2 tons if you go into the hydrostatic tables 10808.2 lies between 10777 and 11223 10777 is for a draft of 
and 11223 is for a draft of 5.6 now because this displacement is in sea water we can find out the draft so here the difference between 11223 minus 1077 is 446 so for a difference between these two values is 0 0.2 meters of draft right but I need it for 10808.2 minus 1077 so I need it for 31.2 tons of difference so how much will be the change in draft simple interpolation again 31 by 2 multiplied by 0 0.2 divided by 446 gives me a change of the draft of 0 0.014 so I know as I go up of displacement from 10777 to 10808.2 my draft will also increase by the following correction so this becomes my draft correction so I will add this correction because my displacement is also increasing so my final draft for a displacement of 1808.2 tons in seawater is 5.414 meters all right so I have taken these four kinds of different questions regarding hydrostatic tables I'll put up one more video where I'll show you a couple of more different types of questions in this uh, series and uh, just let me know whether this was helpful for you or not if you have any questions let me know if you want me to solve any particular questions any unsolved examples so just send me the question number or send me the details of the question I'm happy to solve it for you as I've been solving it before I'll uh, see you soon with my next video thank you guys for watching and thank you very much for subscribing as well I look forward to your feedback and comments